So hello everybody, that is me again. Welcome to my channel. So the first hit like and subscribe to supporting me and watch a lot of video in the future. So with the lesson before, I guide you how to interfacing with the LM35 temperature. And so now in this lesson, I will guide you how to interfacing gas sensor with the big with the PIC 16F8 7 So the first we need to view the simulation. And you can see in this here is our microcontroller PIC 16F8 7 And you can see in this I'm um, using 4 megahertz. Alright. Here is our LCD interface. And here is the variable register. So now the first I need to connect with the other pin to transfer the data from our microcontroller to display the data on the LCD, right? So now I just connect and uh, mark some label. Okay, with this label I just mark this label 5 voltage, right? And here we connect the ground. So I get to mark with label yellow voltage. I also connect with this pin to the yellow voltage. And here I also connect with the 5 voltage. This pin I also connect to the... I don't need to mark with this label. Okay, so I can directly connect this pin to this pin of the variable resistor. Right? So now, I just connect all this pin of LCD to the C1 here, to C2 C3 And you can see in this we just using the 4 bits to change further data from our microcontroller to the LCD So I just connect to the all this pin to the our microcontroller, right? Okay, so we just finished the simulation for the communicate with the LCD. So now we need to flick our guard sensor. The first, you need to download the library to simulation on the product, and the link download. In the link below this video, you can download the software, the library, or the code and the simulation of this project with the link below this video. Okay, you can see that sensor. And we also have a lot of that sensor like MQ2, MQ3, MQ4. So for this session, I just to choose this MQ5. You can choose MQ2, MQ3, or anything in here because it's also just similar, right? So the first, with the this pin, we connect to the power, and the power using in this we also using the five voltage, right? And DND we also connect to the ground. Okay, so this pin, I will connect this pin to the D0, alright? And so now for the simulation, I also connect with the test pin to the logic terminal. Logic control terminal, alright? You can see this. Connect this pin to make our simulation, okay? So here is our simulation. The first, before we are going to the coding, you need to accept in here and you need to using the hash file to the dot sensor. I also download the library and I get to the folder set of library and to the hash file support to the dot sensor. And you can see in this, I also have a lot of Okay, you can see we have a lot of library 
supporting for product and here is our guard sensor right you just to open and you need to download this library and you need to using this has file to support the graph sensor okay so now we are going to coding for this project but you need to open PIC compiler Okay, you need to open it. Just wait a second. Okay, you need to choose the file new project wider. You choose the folder to save our project and here I choose this folder. In this you need to choose our PIC system. And here is our microcontroller. Okay. And I'm using 4 MHz, so I need to change this value. If you're using another value like the 12, 20, you need to change it. After that, you need to create project. After create project, you need to choose this button. Review for me. After review, you can see in the file we also have the main dot ed library, and in this software also we will lot of command files. We don't need to type it again. Just using this the main dot ed library, and the first you need to add the library the LCD. Second, I get FSP library. Okay, after at the library, you need to review again. So now here is all the my main dot C, right? The first. I need to using this command. This command to warm up. After that, I also using this to clear LCD. You can download the LCD library in the link below this video, right? And I also put I also display this spring got tensor in placing got Okay. After that, we review. Okay, so now we need to run in the product. First, we choose the head. Okay, choose the folder I save in the desktop. Here is our head file. Okay. Interfacing guard 
uh, we cannot to display the just sensor because LCD, our LCD also just have the 16 column, right? So we don't, we cannot display. So I just to uh, using this, right? Okay. Now you can see in this, right? So now we are just to connect with the gas sensor MQ5. So now we need to interface with this sensor and receive this signal come from the gas sensor and using this signal from the pin D0. And so now the first we need to type in and coding for it. If input. We connect with the D0 pin, so I need to connect. I also echo on. I also display on the LCD. I uh, display the string. Just detect, right? detect it okay and if the normally situation we also have the input come from we also have the signal come from the pin D0 so it's the normally situation I also display this but I also change this thing okay I also just no no gas sensor no gas detect right Okay, you can see with the pin D0, we have the signal come from this pin echo one. I also display this pin that that is, and with L situation, I also display this pin no gas detect. Okay, you need to review. Then, okay, with the normal situation, the LCD also reply no gas detect. So, I just change this signal of the logic tunnel, and you can see the signal come from the, the yellow pin also change the value echo on zero on right and you know on our LCD also display the gas detected if I change this value to the normally situation as you can see no gas detect and this pin also have the signal echo zero right and I change this value this signal come from the pin of the gas sensor also have the signal echo on and LCD also display the gas detected. I also change this value to the low value, and you can see the signal come from the D0 pin also have a low value, and you can see in the LCD also have the, this string no gas detected. And so now I will connect with the LED so to be clearly and understand for this situation I just connect with the LED and uh, here I just connect with the raster I also change this value to the 220 you can use another value like the 240 right it's also ok and I also connect this pin to the D1 right and here I just connect to the ground Okay, with the normal situation, the LCD also display the string no detect, no gas detect, right? And when we detect the signal, gas, gas signal, I also turn on this LED, right? And normally we also turn on this LED. So now I just go into coding. 
the foot, I want to turn off, right, turn off the LED output, low, D want turn off LED. Okay, when we detect the gas sent off, I will turn on this LED. D on right. And with the normal situation, I also turn off. Okay, now we check the review. Now we check the sun on the process. And you can see with the normal situation, LCD also display no gas detect and our LED also turn off, right? When I change this value, and you can see LCD also display got detected and our LED also turn on, right? The turn on to notify we know about the we have the gas detected. And uh, here is to make the some warning for us, right? If I change this value again, you can see LCD display no gas detect and LED on certain off, right? So this lesson today has done. Just like and subscribe to supporting me and watch a lot of lessons in the future. So see you in the next time.